All right, so I've been wanting to do a video for a while where I go to a store, get different fruits and veggies, and see what grows from what I typically eat. So I'm gonna be going the more organic route, uh, looking through the store, getting different produce, and uh, yeah, we're gonna scrape some seeds out and we're gonna see what we can actually grow from the things that we eat. I can not grow, but I'm going to try it anyway. So I got a mango just because it looked delicious. I was not trying to do any types of trees, <laughs> tree type produces, but uh, maybe I'll do it anyway for fun. All right, we will first start with the red pepper. I rinse this off a bit because I'm going to be eating it as well. Spaghetti squash. Acorn squash. Kabocha squash. And I'm gonna rinse these off because they're a little, a little messy. A lot of the flesh is sticking to these a little bit more. All right, after a little rinse, kabocha squash seeds. Last squash is the calabaza. I decided to switch to this little strainer method right here because I want to get all of the um, stuff from around the seed off. So I'm going to rinse it off. All right, got most of that kind of gunk off, so I'm just gonna scrape it on this napkin here, dry it a little bit, and then put the seeds on a different napkin. All right, here are the grape tomatoes. Now I'm going to start labeling them while they dry so I don't get too far ahead of myself and forget what is what. All right, I'm doing these peppers next, which should not be as messy as the tomatoes. And also I have gloves on because I do not want my fingers to have this uh, spice on them and I accidentally end up rubbing my eye or the like. If you've done that before, that is not fun. This right here is a Fresno pepper. Seeds, still small, but bigger than tomatoes. Definitely have to label all of these because these pepper seeds might all be looking the same. Now I will typically go for the reddest types of peppers that I see if it's a kind of pepper that matures red, just so I know that the seeds have the chance to be the most valuable as possible. So hopefully all of these work out well. Habanero. And here is the question mark peppers seeds. Let me know if you know what this is. And now we are on to the last thing that I need to cut. And that will be strawberries where I will just be a uh, scraping off a thin top layer of the skin right here with the seeds on it and just laying it on the paper so that it can dry. All right, here it is. And as it dries, it will stick to the paper and then you'll be able to scrape the seeds off pretty easily. And to speed the process up for this, I might just put these in the sun during the hottest time of the day, just to speed up the drying. Now, if you have any you know, pests that want to hop on it, or like in my yard, cats that want to chew on it, just be aware of where you put it. Almost forgot, I wanted to cut the mango as well. So this will be the last thing I'll cut. I typically would just chew on the seed, but I'm not going to be doing that for the video because that's not very uh, 
video friendly content right there. Now I'm pretty much gonna leave it like this right here. I'm gonna put it in a container with the top on. And then eventually when I plan out the rest of them, I'm gonna open up this shell right here because there's a seed that's actually inside of it. Now this can mold in like a three days or so, you'll begin to see possible spores. So just to avoid that, sometimes I just rinse it off every once in a while. <laughs> Um, cause I usually don't keep it like this for this long. I usually put it in the ground immediately or I just open up the inside of this, uh, from this side right here, uh, quickly, but I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit. So here we have Thai basil, mint, spearmint, and sweet basil. So I'm just going to look for the longest stems I can find right here. Take off all of the leaves at the bottom. And I take off majority of these top leaves as well. I really only want to leave the um, the new growth that's coming in right here. I'm going to take those out and then just drop it in the water. Alrighty, so it's been a couple of days since I recorded the first part of the video. Uh, right after I recorded that, I was actually out of town. And by the time I got back, the mango seed had molded and the purple sweet potato had also molded. The herbs also uh, they typically root pretty easy, but I realized the ones that rooted easily are the ones that I had already grown and got cuttings from. The ones from the stores, uh, two of them began to start rooting and they all just essentially died and went limp. So maybe they were just in the store for too long, whatever the case is. We'll see what we have left. And also, with a couple of days that I was gone, I also got busy for about a week and a half. So the seeds are definitely dry and we'll see what else we have happening right now. So all the seeds will pretty much be looking the same. Definitely dry, those will pop off easy. Let me see if I can show you right now at least. Yep, you can already see it. These come off very easy once it's dry. Everything else dry. This is uh, what was and what is not anymore. Uh, the ginger, I thought I saw a sprout. Oh, there's a sprout in here right now. So the ginger has started sprouting as well in one spot. The sweet potato started sprouting in two spots and then these potatoes started sprouting out as well so the next journey will be to put these into the ground well not into the ground but into little pots first to germinate and then into the ground possibly we'll see where we have space at so everything has been planted i'm going to put the top on it and i'll be back in maybe seven days two weeks we'll see at least as far as this project goes so we can see the progress remember this is eat the canvas grow more of what you eat till next time